I need that. I need the the deck here. We have the tower. I need that what? Justice. That's you guys. Oh my goodness. Y'all making some stuff happen. I feel like in the past there was some sort of course correction or some balancing of the scales and now it's all about action. It's all about taking you know, take you know, taking action seriously. Um I do get this feeling that for some of you guys, um, the tower also indicates like something unexpected coming about, something unexpected, something that you didn't see coming. And I feel like it had a lot to do with some sort of balancing the scales. Um, I think it, you know, it honestly it could be that something could come, be coming in and you have to just kind of like nip it in the bud the second it comes out. That's the, like the initial instinct that I'm kind of getting with this. Like something's gonna come up and you have to correct it. You have to be the Libra. You're gonna be like, nope. Yeah, okay. You heard what I said before last time? No. That's what you, that's what it's looking like you guys have to do. Because here in your uh, current state of being, you have the Queen of Wands. She don't take no mess. She has a lot of fun though. She's in, she is always in the moment. She's pure raw energy. Okay. Um, and she's, you know, she's authentic to herself. And you know what? You guys have not, you guys, uh, just like Aquarius and, you know, pretty much everybody, everybody's going through a serious amount of change. You've definitely become someone different. You know, you're not the typical stereotype Libra anymore. You're very selfish and it's not a bad thing, right? Because your seventh house is Aries. Aries is supposed to be all about the self anyway. So how you guys are in relationships is very similar to an Aryan right now. So it's interesting that that comes up. So Aries does come up from this, okay? Aries does come up from this. So in regards to, you know, the the queen, the queen of Wands, there could be that you guys are not taking no ish right now. You guys are more feeling like that fire, that, you know, that that spark, that passion. You guys are feeling very creative, very, you know, you're, very, you're feeling very fiery right now. You guys could also be dealing with an, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius um, as well. And you could be identifying that, you, uh, identifying yourself as somebody's, you know, better half, somebody else's fire sign. You belong to a fire sign or you, they belong to you, either one. Or this could be that you are connected to someone that you feel is very passionate and exciting and very romantic and in, in their own right, right? But your goal is to gain balance in your situation, to finally have some sort of balance. Not to kind of, not oscillate things back and forth, not juggling situation, none of that. Nothing. You want to have it balanced. You want to actually proceed with one of those pentacles, perhaps there other than just looking at them and kind of distracting yourself. I feel like right now you guys are in a, this process of distracting yourself because this is something you should be doing. And I think you guys want to have something done. Not have something done, but you want to do something that you want to do rather than something you're supposed to or something that you are said you're going to do, something that you're committed to. You want to actually pick a cup and run pick a pentacle and run with it weigh your options and not have to constantly look at work and be like this is the only thing i've got that actually that i actually enjoy why do i say that because the higher front is crossing this goal this this desired outcome it's crossing it right now it's like your responsibilities are just like it's just it feels like a responsibility it almost feels like this relationship is a responsibility okay and it's coming up as a commitment here. Like, yes, and it's be, and you've been waiting on some sort of progress to be made for forever. You've been waiting on something to come back. You've been waiting on some sort of change. You've been waiting on some sort of progress to come about. I don't think that you guys have gotten that sort of progress. Because the Three of Wands is talking about action being taken, right? It talks about, you know, it talks about waiting, but still doing things in the meantime, right? Preparing for whatever you've set your ships out, you know, whatever it is that, you know, that you've, you've sent your ships out to do, right? You, you want, you're waiting for things to come back. And that's almost like you're expecting, I, I used expecting the same old stuff. Like you're expecting them to say, I don't know. It could be that you're expecting more commitment from this individual that you're dealing with. Maybe that's the Queen of Wands. Maybe you're expecting more commitment. Um, maybe you're expecting something to change with the Tower energy regarding the commitment that you've got. But right now, it's like it feels like you want to do something that's fun, go outside and enjoy your life instead of constantly balancing them scales. 
constantly juggling the situations you've got going on right now maybe even making a choice between two people maybe there's more than one individual in this reading you know uh, uh, for you right for those of you out there there's some of you guys may be just like no i'm watching for one and then there's some of you guys that could be watching for multiple so it's like which one are you going to commit to and which and if you're the one that's being juggled which you know like when is enough enough like if like if you like there's it doesn't matter whether or not this person decides you or not do you decide them if so then they're yours and i get it right the three of wands you're waiting on some sort of response you're waiting on the go the go to commit well libra your advice here is the nine of swords okay and let's talk about stress talks about stress anxiety you know things kind of like being a little bit uneasy right now and it totally makes sense why things would be uneasy you know tower coming up because of justice your card your karmic scales correcting itself things being balanced perhaps there's something that needs to be done or needs to be corrected right now and it does it it's it's hard to do because perhaps you've got a lot you know you've got a lot invested in it or that you know yet yeah, the fact that you are committed to this you are responsible for it you feel responsible for it when that's not necessarily the place you know what i mean you don't you never you're never responsible for someone else so that's put you know you want to be able to just you know no longer distract yourself with these pentacles i feel you want to be able to just commit to yourself and i think that's the stressful part of it right what if the what ifs the what if i can what if this happens and etc cetera, etc cetera. well then you'll you you know you'll be the queen of wands you'll live in the moment you'll have you'll handle it when it comes you'll handle it it doesn't have to be perfect right everything doesn't have to go smoothly before you can say yes and that's okay you have everything that you need libra to go ahead and make this decision that you feel like you absolutely need to make this is a justice for you this is committing to you what do you want and go and if you want to go for it it's all totally up to you don't worry about what could happen because if you believe that you can make it through anything in your survivor you will make it through anything because in your feelings you have the ace of cups you really you're open to love you're you have a cup open ready for love to be taken for those of you that are single or out there Within, within a relationship even so right you ready to go ahead and recreate love or not even recreate just to heal from those from, from the old situation or from old situation and begin a new process and or begin a new way of love of of, of, of loving each other you know it's new love so i like this energy for you i really do i really love it and it's it opens the door to so many possibilities now what your hopes and fears is just the three of pentacles which does indicate to me here that yeah there is some planning for the future there is some sort of planning for things to be done right like you're wanting things to, to come out or to not necessarily come out but you you know you want to see if there's a stable future even available to even begin with which is completely understandable right but I feel like at the same time, it's not necessarily important whether it goes somewhere or not. But you know, it's all about what feels good in the moment because that's what the cups is all about. What feels good? Just too much focus on the practical. What do you want? What does it feel? Because if it feels good, you will you you can make anything happen. Make anything long term. Make anything you know stand out and be amazing if you want to. It's all up to you. It just depends on how you feel about it first. If you feel something, if it feels good, great. You have some, that is established right there. It is what it is. You can do the steps that needed to make sure, you know, make something happen, right? But you gotta love it first. You gotta know what it is first. You gotta want it first. You have to enjoy it first. And even then, you're gonna be living in, in the moment with every process, every step, before it can truly get to a place where it can be finalized. So let me go ahead and take a look at what your wisdom of your whispers of love has to say. I would say that with the whispers of love, wisdom of the oracle. No, no, it's the whispers of love. Ooh, 
forgiveness. Now, I said days of cups is healing. Okay? Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. I think there was something in the past that you were expecting. There's something that you committed to, and it didn't come through. It didn't fall through. But that doesn't mean that, I mean, it didn't fall through. It didn't come true. But it doesn't mean that there isn't something that can't come true. The star reminds us of that. There's always hope. There's always, yes, there's always the star that's in the distance that's telling us that, hey, our dreams can come true. You know, we can wish upon a star and make it happen. But it comes with work. It comes, it's the same thing, right? You can't just sit there and wish on the star. She, as you see, in the even in this image, she's pouring water back into the earth. She's doing something. She's giving back. And I'm thinking, okay, Libra, you know, like, of course, like, I don't think there's any sort of, like, some of you guys may have this issue with giving, right? But I don't, I don't think that's the case. I really don't. But I do feel like that's what it's saying, though. It is saying that it does come with work to make the dream come true. It does come with, you know, things that may need to be done, right? And it's all about whether or not you are, you know, not necessarily willing to, um, but can believe, can be in the moment. Because the Nine of Swords is, again, it's stressing about the future. It's stressing about what's not happening yet. It's stressing, stressing about the situation, but it becomes too, like, it becomes exploded in your brain, right? It becomes too, too huge. Way more than the actual problem itself. And if instead, of, if you just commit to it and do it, right, and get you know, if, if you commit to it and just you know, and and make it happen, there actually won't be that much stress because then you realize the situation wasn't probably as bad as it was. And I'm not saying that you guys are not doing anything. I feel like you guys are. The three of three of wands indicates that you guys have been doing the work potentially. Some of you guys have been, have been just sitting there waiting. Some of you guys. And there's some of you guys out there that have been doing the work and you haven't been seeing what you've been wanting to, you, what you've been dedicated to manifesting. So yeah, it's stressful to be in a relationship with someone that doesn't, you know, it, it's, it's not moving in, in, the, in the progress that you want, in the direction that you're looking for, but that's the thing. Taking action, the tower, making it happen, just go ahead and do it, right? And this, you know, just survive, you know, thrive. Be you, be, you know. Deception. I think Leo had this. That or Virgo. And it says, someone is wearing a false mask in your relationship. So it's a, you know what, Libra? You might end up cracking the code on some sort of deception here in your relationship. Somebody may not be being truly honest with themselves or with you in this relationship. I don't see any lies here. But you do have the Tower of Justice, which is talking about, you know, correcting of karmic scale. So there could be somebody that's getting corrected that could get corrected today um, or this week, sometime this week. But I, I feel like, I feel like this is saying most importantly that you don't ever have to wear a mask. You don't ever have to feel like you have to just buckle up and conform. The Two of Pentacles is totally opposite. Just facing and doing your doing your dues and ma managing your responsibilities. No, you don't ever have to just do that. You, what you can do is you can be yourself and make something happen within your own terms regarding what you want and taking control of what you want to manifest. Of course, it comes with forgiveness and healing, but you have already started this. Say the cups. You're ready. You're absolutely 100% ready.